course you're gonna wanna go out when you're in the east. So we're gonna do just that for you tonight. We'll check out some bars and clubs. And we promise there's gonna be something for every age and taste. We had a blast, as you can imagine. But let's start from the beginning. The great thing about Nice is that it's small for a big city. So we'll be able to change bars and clubs as often as we like and on foot. Almost all of the places we're taking you to are situated in the old town. Then there's one that's not far from the port and another just north of the Promenade du Paillon in what we call the new town. We'd been eagerly anticipating this night out for quite some time, picking our friends' brains about their favorite spots to party in Nice. And then the evening kicks off with rain. On top of that, it's still winter. So for a Friday night, the streets in the old town are unusually empty. But not everywhere. Now we're gonna discover Les Folies Dead Monde. It's a cocktail bar that someone told us about and we really want to discover it. Yeah, what better way to start the night than with a fancy cocktail? This bar, which has been open for almost two years now, is tucked away in a quiet alley in the old town. But don't be fooled by the empty upstairs. When we arrive around nine, the vaulted cellar is bustling with people. The place is named after the owner's grandmother, Edmond, who's someone who enjoys being out and about. So naturally, the first of the many cocktails on the menu is named after her. Anya chooses, well, a screaming orgasm with vodka, milk and various coffee liquors, What I opt for much tamer candies with gin, passion fruit, lemon and vanilla. Tap water is complimentary as usual. We also have a platter of cheese and vegetable spreads with bread as a nice foundation, since we have a long night ahead of us with more alcohol to come. We decide this is a really charming place with incredibly friendly service. They'll even replace your cocktail for free if you don't like it. Tonight, all we're hearing is French, so apparently it's a great spot to mingle with locals. Can you believe it? The Wacker Bar is empty. This is the bar just behind me. Normally it's super crowded. It's liked by locals and by tourists. So I can only imagine it's the rain. So. Let's blame the rain. During the day or at night, this place is usually packed. The best spot to choose is on the balcony facing the sea, whether it's for enjoying the winter sun or balmy summer evenings. However, tonight the rain has scared people off. And since we have a lot on our plate, we also skip Waka Bar and head to our next destination. We're going to discover the catch bar now. And I heard it is an open mic night tonight. So let's go have a look. It's small, bustling when we arrive, simple, cozy and brimming with life. Catch is unmistakably a local hangout situated about a 10 minute walk from the port of Nice. It's renowned as a music venue, hosting live performances typically on Tuesday, Friday and Saturday nights. The crowd is younger since Anthony took over as the barkeeper about a year ago, we're told. And the menu boasts an array of drinks alongside sharing plates for nibbling. We adored the ambience, small and intimate, with dedicated rock musicians performing in the adjacent room, while vibrant patrons reveled in the atmosphere. Now we're going to the Shopko Bar and I hear they have live music every night. Let's go. Yep, this is the next live music hotspot, nestled in the very heart of the old town and open every single night of the week until 4.30 in the morning. You know those cozy spots that always seem packed? Well, this place fits right into that category, with its quirky decor blending those bad boy vibes with the homey charm of your grandma's living room. Named after Jasmine and former owner Shapko, They are supposedly the only bar in Nice with live music every single night of the week, mostly not until 10.30 though, covering everything from jazz, no surprise there, to soul, funk and groove, all the way to rock and hip-hop. Fun's on the menu for everyone here, no matter your age. And while upstairs is better for a chat, downstairs is where the dance floor usually heats up at some point during the night. Depending on the band of the day, you might stroll in for free 
or not. It's almost midnight and we arrived at Ba Apot. It's recommended by a friend and yeah, check it out. It looks great. This bar seems to have undergone some recent changes, but unfortunately it's empty when we arrive, except for a few souls lingering in the back room. They are open Tuesday through Sunday until midnight, offering live music, karaoke, salsa and stand-up comedy, depending on the day of the week, with wallet-friendly drinks. This Shubito, I really wanted to go. And you know why? Because this is a shot bar. I've never been to a shop bar. This is the first time in my life. So, Ayla, please, let's go. I'm in. We step into a dimly lit bar with booming music folks dancing away and a busy duo behind the bar preparing shot after shot. They come in all hues and flavors, some sweet, some flaming, and they'll set you back anywhere from 250 to 5 euros. Voila, our drinks arrive. An Italian cafe, a B52, a marshmallow complete with an actual marshmallow to go first, and then there's Anya's choice of a peculiar mix where you drop one shot into the larger glass and sip on the minty green shot first, or something like that. The bartender walks us through each with a grin. You can tell that this bar serves as a mere pit stop for revelers hopping between venues. The crowd is in a constant flux of arrivals and departures. We're off too, it's past midnight. Prime time to hit the clubs in Nice. Bulldog Pompeii it's called, it's a bar or Pub and a discotheque apparently. I have no idea what's gonna what's expecting us in there. So we're just gonna try. For the first time tonight, we're faced with an entrance fee. 10 euros per person, drink included. Inside, we're greeted by rock and roll vibes and a pretty young crowd having a blast. We might be the oldest ones here by a long shot. But we feel completely at home, surrounded by laid-back folks all in search of a good time. We can't hang around for too long though, there's still work to be done. I'm not sure if we get into opera. Let's see. We made it in all right. It costs us 15 euros each, plus an extra two for the cloakroom. And the party's already in full swing downstairs in the basement. This joint feels a tad roomier than the last one, despite its low vaulted ceilings. And boy, it is packed. We're grabbing our first drink that's included at the stylish bar and are soaking in a blend of French and English tunes that give us major 90s remix vibes. Compared to those clubs in former factory buildings that you're surely familiar with, this one's still rather small and cozy once again. We're having a great time, even though, as you can see, we're once more increasing the average age of the crowd. By the way, the music you're hearing throughout this video isn't the original music from that evening. We're not permitted to use those tracks due to music rights restrictions. And now it's time to switch venues again. We've got two more spots lined up for tonight. It's 2.30 in the morning by now. There's the Omega Bar and we're gonna go dancing now. It's a club, not a bar really. Situated just around the corner from Place Massena. And the flag outside gives it away. It's a self-proclaimed gay and friendly club. We each shell out 10 euros for entry, which includes one drink. They mainly play electro and electro house music. Tonight it's not overly crowded, but bustling enough to get everyone in the mood for dancing. And just like in the previous clubs, we feel completely at ease. Going topless is a thing here. Things ramp up when the first drag queen takes the stage. Then another one follows, love her boots. And soon there's three of them. And we're having an absolute blast, just like everyone around us. And then we meant to check out the other renowned LGBTQ plus club, Le Cis. But when we got there that night, they were closing up. Such a shame. So it's after 4 a.m. in the morning and we haven't had techno yet. So we're going to the boom bar, boom curve bar, and hoping for some techno. And techno we get. It's a club, of course, not a bar, as I said earlier. 
And here they exclusively serve up techno in all its variations. Tonight being International Women's Day, three female DJs were on the lineup. We missed the first two and are just catching the last hour of Ashley's set. The usual entrance fee is 10 euros, though it can be more depending on the DJ. The cloud might be tiny, but at least it's still buzzing at 5 a.m. And since it's right next to the sea, we steal one last glimpse of it before finally hitting the hay. So you are still around, so you enjoyed the video. We got another tip for you. What about a rooftop bar enjoying the Mediterranean Sea?